Have you ever done a science experiment and wondered what it'd be like if you did it big? I have. <laughs> My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. Today, we're looking at polymers. Polymers, polymers, polymers. Word has lost all meaning. Plastics, latex, rubber, and our favorite polymer, slime. Oh, yeah. All on this episode of Science Max Experiments at Large. Hello, greetings, Science Max and Mites. My name is Phil, and I think I might have overdone it with the science. I mean, what's a better use of science than creating a whole bunch of slime? Well, I did, and you know what? It's really cool. <laughs> slime. I love slime. It always makes me feel like a mad scientist, but I need a good mad scientist laugh. <laughs> yeah, it needs work. Anyway, today we're talking about polymers. Polymers like slime. But you see, polymers aren't really a substance. They're more how something is constructed. And there's all kinds of different polymers. There's slime, obviously, and rubber polymers, like, well, like rubber. And there's also hard polymers, like plastic. Now, polymers are all kind of constructed the same way, like this. This is a chain. Yeah, so imagine this is a chain of molecules and all the molecules are the same and they just repeat in a long line. Now, when you get a polymer like slime, all the chains are not connected or very loosely connected, which means that they can flow over each other like a slime or sort of like a liquid and they behave like that. So that is slime. But when you get to a rubber polymer, you start to get little bonds in between the chains of polymers that work like this. You see, they still move around a little bit, but they can, they can spread apart and they become flexible and bouncy. Yeah, I know, a chain, a chain doesn't really bounce, but rubber polymers do. Huh? Now, when it gets to a solid polymer like plastic, there's a lot more links and it's all kind of interconnected and it doesn't move at all. It doesn't move, okay, again, harder to tell with a chain, but plastic is very hard and rigid. So let's dive into the world of polymers and make some slime. <laughs> yeah, too mad, not enough scientist. I'll keep working on it. Anyway, to make slime, take your white glue and pour in uh, an amount. It really kind of depends on how much slime you want to make. Now, you want to add about twice as much water as that. Uh, yeah, somewhere around there, great. Now we want to put in just a little bit of soap. Maybe there, that's good. And you want to put in your food coloring. I like green. Green seems like the right slime color to me. It's the right appropriate mad scientist kind of slime. And then you want to start mixing that up till you get the right kind of consistency. That means make sure the glue and the water are equally mixed up. Good. And now we're ready to make it an actual slime by bonding the polymers together by adding liquid starch. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you want to mix it up. When you add the liquid starch, it starts to bond the chains of molecules together, changing it from a liquid to a slime. It's coming along. And there you go. Slime. Now, if you want clear slime and not opaque slime, you want to use clear glue and not white glue. But that's basically the recipe. So there you go. Slime. <laughs> Too super villain? Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, we go. All right. Now all you need is an expert to help me max it out. Of course, my interface is hand gesture based, so I don't know if the slime. Oh, hey, there we go. Great. So, you get it. Uh huh. Uh, oh, of course. Sarah from Mad Science. Mad Science, they really know their slime. This is great. Okay, I got it. Close, close, close. Close. Yeah, hey, there we go. All right. Ugh. I'm not sure if bringing it through the portal is such a good idea, but at least I'll have it on the other side. Ugh. 
I have a pot. Why do I have a pot? I didn't have a pot when I went through the portal. Is someone somewhere missing a pot, or did it just create this pot out of nothing? Huh. Hey, hey, Sarah! Hey, hi! How are you doing? Good! Sarah from Mad Size, you're gonna help me make some slime. Yes, I actually brought some... Oh, this isn't... This isn't slime, this is a pot lid. Hey! Oh! Well, uh, at least we have a set. Doesn't answer any questions, though. And I guess we're gonna have to make some more slime. Definitely. What kind of slime do you want to make? Uh, what do you mean, what kind? Is there more than one kind? Oh, yeah, there are tons of different kinds of slime with lots of different ingredients and recipes. Oh, I only know the one. Can you show me all the others? Of course! Let's go make some right now! Okay, great! Awesome! to Sal's Science Shop and see me, Sal, while you shop for science. This week only, Sal's one-of-a-kind, once-a-year polymer sale. 50 to 75 percent off anything made of polymers. Rubber? That's a polymer. Polystyrene. When you're eating your next meal, I recommend some polypropylene. Low-density polyethylene. High-density polyethylene. You want some polytetrafluoroethylene? We got it. We've even got polychlorotrifluoroethylene. Did I even know how good a deal this is? Cause you're not gonna find, you're not gonna find that kind of deal just like every day. But hold the phone. Polymers aren't just plastics. Rayon, nylon, Teflon, you name the lawn, we got it on. Sale. What do we want? Polymers. When, when do we, we want them? them? Anytime during normal business hours. Wool, silk, even cotton. Polymers, polymers, polymers. Pol Polymers, polymers, polymers. Word has lost all meaning. Glue, paint, umbrella fabric, oh yeah. Carpet, you bet that's on sale. Roberta, I'm running out of sale signs. Buy it and I'll put it in a plastic bag, also made of polymers. Seriously, Roberta, we can't have a sale on everything. Oh, hey, hey, even you, even me, the proteins in our bodies, even our DNA, all polymers. <laughs> so come on down to Sal's Science Shop and get a great deal on your polymers for a limited time. I mean, it'd have to be a limited time, right, Roberta? Because, I mean, I can't discount everything in the store to 75% off. How am I going to make any money? I mean, are we still rolling? One hundred different kinds of slime. Yes, it's gonna be so much fun, but we're not gonna make a hundred today. Yeah, I know. We're just gonna do our top favorites. Yeah, it's gonna be super great. All right, what are we starting with? So our first slime we're starting with today is some really cool molding slime. Now this slime, actually, if you leave it out overnight, it'll harden, and you can make an imprint of whatever you like. So here we made an imprint of our little uh, tool there. So we're gonna look at a little bit more liquidy slime, starting with this one over here, which I believe you already know about. This is cornstarch mud. Exactly. You hold this. Sounds good. I'm gonna good. hold this and I'm gonna try pouring it. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. so. See, it's like, it's like a liquid, but then you do it fast, it's like a solid. All right, what's next? Over here, we have some other really awesome types of slime. So right over here, we have some crunchy slime. Crunchy slime? Exactly. Why is it crunchy? Now, it's crunchy because we've actually added a few beads inside of it to make it crunchy. Uh -huh. so this is some really cool, awesome slime. Here, take half. And you can feel the beads as you get to stretch it out. It's so cool. This is uh, this one is a little harder to clean. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I'll just do that. All right, so what's next? So next we have some really cool glow-in-the-dark slime. Glow-in-the-dark slime? Yeah, it's so awesome. Ooh, look at how much it glows. That glows a lot. That's super glowy slime. So to do the different kinds of slime, we need the polymer. Yes. And then the thing that sticks the polymers together. Exactly. So the glue is the polymer. Glue is the polymer. And the starch is the thing that bonds it. Yes. Uh-huh. Very cool. And then you put the thing in that makes it the, the kind of slime. Yes, right before you add the bonding component, because if we keep uh, adding stuff after it's already made, it unfortunately won't be able to take it. So we add our powder before we add our starch in this situation. Uh, should we go on to the next thing? Yeah, let's move on to the More slime. slime. Plastic is great and plastic is everywhere. But the problem with plastic is it isn't very biodegradable. It, it doesn't break down in the environment. <laughs> I'm still on hold. Oh well. There you go. Back for another couple years, I guess. But here's a way that you can make bioplastic. It's fully biodegradable because it's made of natural materials. The recipe is easy. Two parts cornstarch, three parts water, a few drops of cooking oil, and some food coloring to make it whatever color you want. Purple, 
science purple, mix it up and it turns into a paste. Now what you'll need are two things. One, an adult, and two, a microwave. Put it in for 30 seconds. Clock wipe. There we go. Then take it out and mix it some more until it cools down. Then you can pull it out and use your hands to sculpt it into a shape or take the shape of something else. Once you put it all the way around, you can turn it into a little flower pot. Once you've sculpted it, you need to wait for it to dry, which will take about a day. Clock wipe. After waiting a day... Uh, uh, huh? Uh, what? It's been a day? Oh. You have something made out of bioplastic. Like this little flower pot you can use to grow a small plant. And then when it grows big enough, you can take this biodegradable flower pot and plant it right outside in the dirt, and this pot will biodegrade and turn back into dirt. Pretty cool, right? Well, let's max it out. Biodegradable Frisbee! Check it out! It's a Frisbee, but it's biodegradable. So you throw it around in the park, but if you lose it, it turns back into dirt. <laughs> What, not enough? Okay, clock wipe! Biodegradable lawn chair! Use it for one season and then return it to the earth afterwards. I think this is one of my best science max. I... Okay, bioplastic lawn chair, not as strong as regular lawn chair. We've learned that lesson now, so that's, that's good to know. I mean, I mean, how would I have known if I hadn't tried it? Sarah and I are looking at different recipes for slime. All right, what do we got here? So over here we have some amazing foamy slime which has so, so many ingredients in it. Here, watch what happens when we start pulling it out. Ooh, wow. So it's like... Super stretchy whoa. and super fluffy. Here, that's great. Okay, now we gotta, you gotta hold yours. You gotta hold this in. Okay, you take, and then take some more. And then we take that. And then, yeah. <laughs> It gets thinner and thinner and it becomes more and more lines of foamy slime. Yeah. And the last kind of slime we made today is some classic flubber slime. Ooh. So much fun. Now why do you think it's called is it flubber slime? Because it's, is it really a slime? It is a slime, yeah. It's super fun and it's oh. super stretchy. Oh, okay, I get it. Look, look at that and it's sort of like, like a little bit like gelatin. It is almost like gelatin. Here, you can have some. There you go, whoa. Oh, ha, ha. Uh oh. All right, so Sarah, now what we need to decide mm -hmm. is how we're gonna max it out. Right. Like, should we just get a lot of slime? That sounds like a really good idea, but we are gonna need something to put it in because we can't just have slime all over the floor. Okay, you're right. So we'll get we'll get some sort of container thing. Yeah. And we'll see how much slime we can make, and then we'll just play with it and see what happens. Sounds good. And yeah, we will experiment because it's science. Yeah. Okay, hi. High five. Careful high five so we don't splatter. Okay, good. Okay, let's go. This is right. This is a rubber glove. Well, actually, it's a latex glove. What's the difference? I will get to that in a second. But I'm sure you can agree it's super stretchy. How stretchy? Let's fill a rubber glove with water and see how big it gets. <laughs> so. Difference between latex and rubber. Well, it all comes from a rubber tree. Well, actually, it's a fake tree. It's just to show you how it works. The sap of the rubber tree is collected just like this. There's a spigot, and then the sap goes out, and it's collected. It's the same way that the sap for our maple syrup is collected. And this, this is natural latex. If it's dried out, it becomes natural rubber. Latex generally means the liquid form, and rubber means the solid form. But wait, then why is this a latex glove? <laughs> the glove is not liquid. What's the deal? Well, generally, latex means water-based or liquid, like latex paint. But it could also mean synthetic latex. That's latex that's man-made and doesn't come from a rubber tree. So, we call rubber gloves rubber gloves because they used to come from rubber trees, but now they're usually made out of man-made latex. But either way, they're super stretchy. I wonder how big this is gonna get. <laughs> Science! 
I are maxing out polymer slime. How? Maxed out tub of slime! Whoa! Okay, so how do you feel? Is it, uh, are we mixed up enough? First, we mix up a bunch of slime in a garbage bin. So with the polymer chemistry, the polymer is generally a liquid, right? Yep. And the bonding agent makes it stick together. So the more we use, the more of a solid we get. Exactly, yeah. So we want to split it and make it sort of halfway between a liquid and a solid, and I think we're exactly at the right stage. It looks perfect. Oh, yeah. OK, so let's dump this garbage can in. All right. All right. Then we dump it in. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. It turns out we needed more slime. Um. I don't think that's going to be enough. I think we may need some more slime. Yeah, how much more do you think we need? So, we added 11 more. Ah, delicious. Last one. Last one. Oh yeah. Then we experimented. Oh, oh yeah. We have a giant, giant tub of slime. <laughs> because the slime is stretchy, it created amazing bubbles. So do you think I could blow a bubble with the slime? Well, do maybe I, not you, but definitely the air compressor. This? No, either, uh, no, I'd have to just put it on my face. I think yeah. I've already got it on my face. Then there was only one thing left to do. We get in this line. Can we do that? We can totally do that. This is science math. That's so exciting. Going <laughs> swimming in slime. Yes. Who's going first? You are. I am, obviously. All right. Plastic is everywhere, but what can we do with it aside from recycle it? Well, we can reuse it to make cool plastic charms. But you're going to need the right kind of plastic, and you need polystyrene. Just look for the little number six inside the recycle symbol. Cut out some plastic and decorate it however you want. There we go. Haha, <laughs> check it out. The Science Max logo. Also, I've made a couple other things. I've got a chemical symbol, an atom, and this is me in some slime. Then get an adult to help you put it in the oven or toaster oven at 350 degrees. It only takes a few seconds for the plastic to shrink to one third its size. The reason why this happens is when plastic is manufactured, it's heated and stretched out and then cooled, and it sort of freezes in that stretched out shape. And when you reheat it, it shrinks back down to the unstretched shape. Get your adult to take it out and wait for it to cool, and you'll have yourself some small plastic designs you can use for keychains, bracelets, name tags, bookmarks, whatever you want, all using the power of polymers. Awesome. I'm going to make all of those. What was that again? Keychain, ornament, magnet. Um... Magnetic putty in 60 seconds. This is magnetic putty. Thank you. This is magnetic putty. Ten take. This is magnetic putty. 26. This is magnetic putty. 2,635. This is, this is magnetic putty. I can't count this high. This is magnetic putty. <laughs> magnetic. Oh. oh, it's not a magnet. It's attracted to magnets. Oh, that makes more sense. This is magnetic putty, and this is a magnet. The putty is made of polymers, which means it can flow over itself. It also has lots of iron filings in it, which is why it's attracted to magnets. This is what happens over several minutes. And there you go, magnetic putty. OK, so where were we? Oh, yeah. Three, two, one, yeah! And remember, don't try this at home. Ah! and I enjoyed our maxed out tub of slime. So let's recap. Slime is made of polymers. Polymers come in a lot of different forms. 
It's all about long chains of molecules. And none are more fun to swim in than slime. Do I have slime hair? Ooh, yeah, definitely. Slime hair! Oh, slime! <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Science Max experiments at large. Polymers. Slime. Yeah. High fives. Yeah. Slimey high five. Yeah. Take three. Do it. Yeah. Did you see it? Is this still close? Am I too close to the camera? Biodegradable Frisbee. Do I, am I looking at this camera? Or is it this one? Is it this one? First, you need that bowl I told James to go and wash. Forgot to ask him back for that. But hold the phone. Nylons, nylons. That's latex that is man. Uh, uh, science.